AEM 21-9034DS Air Intake System is engineered to add horsepower and reduce restriction compared to OEM air intakes and it comes with a lifetime limited warranty. The AEM air intake utilizes a large reusable dry flow air filter. This oil-free filter is durable and very easy to clean. The AEM 21-9034DS air intake fits 2006 and 2007 Chevrolet Silverado and GMC Sierra 2500 and 3500 classic body pickups with 6.6 .6 liter diesel engines. See the AEM catalog or aemintakes.com for up-to-date model details. This air intake system is not legal for highway use in California or other states adopting California emission standards. Check aemintakes.com for up-to-date information on emissions legality for specific parts on specific vehicles. Here's a comparison of the truck sound on the dyno with the stock OEM system versus AEM's air intake. AEM air intakes come with detailed instructions with pictures and diagrams. AEM intakes are engineered for specific vehicles to produce a safe horsepower increase. Preparing the vehicle. Make sure the vehicle is parked on a level surface. Set the parking brake. If the engine has run in the past two hours, let it cool down. Disconnect the negative battery terminals on both batteries. Do not discard stock components after removal of the factory system. Removal of the stock system. Open the vehicle hood. Depress the snap tab on the MAF sensor connector and pull it to disconnect the harness from the sensor. Loosen the two hose clamps retaining the stock intake tube at both ends and remove the tube from the engine bay. Pull up on the stock filter air box starting on the side closer to the engine to pop it free from the three mounting grommets. Remove the air box assembly from the engine bay. Using a 10 millimeter socket, remove the four bolts retaining the stock air box mounting plate and then remove the mounting plate. Do not discard these parts. Using a T20 Torx bit, remove the two screws retaining the MAF sensor to the upper air box and remove the sensor for use with your new AEM cold air intake. Make sure the O-ring is intact on the sensor. Installation of the AEM intake system. When installing the intake system, do not completely tighten the hose clamps or mounting hardware until instructed to do so. Install the factory MAF sensor onto the mounting pad of your AEM cold air intake tube using the two M4 Allen bolts provided. Tighten the bolts with a three millimeter Allen key Install the silicone hose onto the engine air inlet using a number 72 hose clamp. Fully tighten that hose clamp and then loosely install another hose clamp onto the open end of the hose. Install the grommet into the AEM filter minder support bracket. Mount the filter minder bracket onto the inside of the AEM heat shield using two M6 hex bolts, two split washers, and two M6 nuts and fully tighten them. View of the M6 nuts on the outside of the heat shield to mount the bracket. Install the AEM filter minder gauge into the mounting grommet. Use glass cleaner or silicone spray lubricant to lubricate the grommet and completely seat the gauge. Install the M6 rubber isolator mount into the hole over the large opening in the heat shield. Then install one flat washer and one M6 nut on the inside of the heat shield. Tighten the nut. Install the L mounting bracket onto the end of the rubber isolator mount using another flat washer and M6 nut. Note that the slotted hole in the bracket is facing down. Leave the M6 nut loose for step 12. Install the longer bulb seal molding around the inside of the large outlet hole in the heat shield. Trim any excess bulb seal. Then install the two shorter bulb seal moldings along the top edge of the heat shield. Install the AEM heat shield into the engine bay using three of the stock M6 bolts with washers from the stock mounting plate and tighten the bolts. Install your AEM cold air intake tube, first into the heat shield opening and then into the engine inlet hose. Do not tighten the inlet hose clamp yet. Secure the intake tube to the L bracket 
using one M6 by 16 millimeter bolt, one split washer, and one flat washer, and tighten the bolt. Now tighten the upper M6 nut to secure the L bracket to the rubber mount. Fully seat the intake tube into the engine inlet hose and tighten the hose clamp. Port installation for AEM filter minder gauge. Drill a 1 quarter inch hole in the plastic cap of your AEM dry flow air filter at the dimpled location. Clean out all the plastic shavings from inside the filter. Install the small grommet into the 1 quarter inch hole and then install the 532nd plastic elbow port into the grommet. Finally, install the 532nd hose onto the elbow port. Install a large hose clamp over the filter outlet and then insert the larger filter base adapter into the outlet of your new AEM dry flow air filter. Do not use the smaller base adapter included in the filter kit. Install your new AEM dry flow air filter assembly onto the inlet of the intake tube inside the heat shield. Align the filter and tighten the large hose clamp at the filter base. Connect the 532nd inch air hose to the port underneath the AEM filter minder gauge. Reconnect the MAF harness to the MAF sensor. Reassemble the vehicle. Position the inlet pipes for the best fitment. Be sure that the pipes or any other components do not contact any part of the vehicle. Tighten any rubber mounts, bolts, and hose clamps. Check for proper hood clearance. Readjust pipes if necessary and retighten them. Inspect the engine bay for any loose tools and check that all fasteners that were moved or removed are properly tightened. Reconnect the negative battery terminals on both batteries and start the engine. Let the vehicle idle for three minutes. Perform a final inspection before driving the vehicle. It will be necessary to check AEM air intakes periodically for realignment, clearance and tightening of all connections. Failure to follow the above instructions or proper maintenance may void warranty. Go to AEMintakes.com to find products, download installation instructions, view dyno chart showing estimated horsepower gains, and for other product details.